I think they actually, look at this, I think they actually remember us from yesterday. I think we might go and get our suits on somewhere else. Oh shit, I'm spitting on the camera. It was bloody cold when we left home. Anyway, we've driven out of here in the middle of bloody nowhere and we've got here and the girls are all awake because the silly bloody sun came back here. So we don't know what to do. See, back in the day, if you were smoking cigarettes, you could sit here and do that. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to sit here and discuss the whys and wherefores. Hey, we could listen to a podcast, couldn't we? We could listen to something on the, on the, on the podcast thing. That's me talking without cameras. <sighs> Maybe we should start a podcast. I wonder what that would be about. Random concepts of a rambling 50-year-old man lost in his own mind. Whew. Could be a problem. What would we call it? We couldn't call it the Bush B-Man because we've got a YouTube channel called that. We'd have to call it something else. Diary, Diary of an Idiot. Diary of an Idiot. That happens. No one would listen to that even if it was true. That wouldn't be fair. You'd have to you'd have to come up with something fucking what do they call that? Bloody inspirational. The inspirational stuff. Like, you know, they call it rise or they call it Find Your Mojo. Or some bloody crap. <laughs> so you'd have to come up with something cool like that. At least I wouldn't have to wear a bee suit. I could just talk my ass off, couldn't I? <laughs> what do you reckon? Shall we have one? Shall we do one now? Let's do a podcast. Um, what are we going to do a podcast on? I don't know. What's a good subject? What about... I did... No, that, that's been covered, so I can't do that. Mm. Perhaps we could do a podcast about just living in the bush. Out here in the middle of nowhere. Drinking your own piss. Hopefully not that bad yet. But drinking bore water, that's a bit like drinking piss anyway. Sometimes it's horrible shit. <laughs> Drinking, what the hell, what's that's a random thing to say? Gah, here we go, we're, we're just chip that in, that's, that's, you know, like that, we'll just fucking add a lot of dimension to the show, won't it? Yeah, drinking your own piss, that's what we do out here in the bush. Yep, just wander around with a little piss can and, yep, it's all good. Yes, you know, recycling at its best. <laughs> Where are we? Waste <laughs> not, waste not, what not. When you're carrying your piss can, you don't have to waste anything. <laughs> Bloody hell. I wonder what it'd be like on the third lap round. It'd be a bit yellow by then, wouldn't it? If you, if you went around enough times, would it would it turn into shit? Because <laughs> you know, it'd get pretty thick, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to think about it. I've never drunk piss, actually. I thank God. I don't think <laughs> I have. I've probably flipped a drop or two in my mouth, you know, when you do the old shaky dog thing. But... <laughs> Now, that could be a random thing. Maybe that's the podcast. It could be about golden showers. Tell you about it. I was listening to this. There's this really cool song, which I'm not allowed to quote, but because apparently if you sing songs that are copyrighted, you're not allowed to get I don't, I don't, You won't recognise the song. But anyway, it's the songs about I can give you, I can give you everything tonight, but I can't give you a golden rain was the song. And I thought, well, that's a bit fucking off, isn't it? You know, like you can't give her a golden rain, but you can give her all the rest of the business that goes on in the bedroom. But then I listened to the song a couple of times, around, 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 and, and what he was actually saying is, I can't give you golden rings, or a golden ring. So I'm assuming he's saying, I can do all this stuff to you, but I can't marry you. So, I don't know. Anyway, maybe we could do a podcast on that. What, mishearing lyrics? Yes. Yeah, there's a whole thing about it. That's cool. Mum would. Mum's got a good one. Mum has got a really good one about lyrics, but I don't know whether I should do that in a public genre. Talking about, she was good. That I can tell you. You want me to tell you that story on camera? God, she'll hate me. Can I think about that for a minute? And I did marry, and I fell in love with her because she's so cute. We were we were dating, and I was a bit of an ACD fan. Blah, 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 blah. Bit of an ACDC fan back in the day. I still like them, but. Of course, they got a bit old like me now, and they just moved on. They've got a little bit more money than I have at this stage of their life. But anyway, we were driving along in the car, playing Dirty Deeds, Dun Dirt Cheap, nice and loud. Dun -dun -dun, dun dirt Cheap. Anyway, if you're not an ACDC fan, look that shit up. That was a cool album cover with a big, muscly Angus arm thing. No, hang on, not Angus. John Bond Scott's arm. Angus was in the background with his little hat on. But anyway... 
that's a fucking whole side issue. Anyway, we're driving along, singing along, and and lovely, lovely wife is well, she wasn't my wife then, she was a hot little little girlfriend singing away with me. And she was singing away and I'm thinking that I wonder what she's actually saying because she didn't really quite sound right. And so I said, anyway, so I slowed down the car a bit and turned the music down a little bit. And I said, you know, what's the chorus? What's that chorus of that song? That's really cool. And she said, yeah, she says, I really like that song. And I said, well, yeah, well, I don't mind it either. So anyway, anyway, so she sang me her chorus, which I thought was pretty cool. It was, what was it? 30 Thieves, Thunder Chief. 30 Thieves and the Thunder Chief. And I went, <laughs> You know, you could you could probably pull that off. If you if you Google Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap Up, you would probably think it could be 30 Thieves and the Thunder Chief. Anyway, she sung it with such enthusiasm, I almost thought about changing the song. So I've it's stuck in my head forever. And I've even got it even we even sung the song at the at my lovely lad's wedding. <laughs> Much to his poor wife's horror, I think. Mind you, she didn't didn't throw me out of the family just yet, which is good. Anyway, back to the podcast idea. Maybe that would be the thing. Would that be the thing? Podcast of random lyrics gone wrong. Or we could do a writing songs. Writing songs in your spare time. Hmm. Bush. Well, hey, actually talking about writing songs in your spare time. What if we could get someone to write a Bush B-Man song? Is there any cool people out there that are musically talented that have got some me I can't even clap in beat I have to that's why I was sort of yeah anyway <laughs> but if you happen to have some musical talent and you like writing songs maybe write me a Bush B-Man song and we could we could play it on the show as a I don't know do they, like an official intro thing do you have intros no I don't know I might not but anyway the cameraman's giving me the look maybe but we could play it in the show somewhere if it's cool but if it's not cool, well, and it won't be me judging. So if it's not cool, it won't be my thought. <laughs> we'll send it to someone musically talented. Anyway, not that I'm allowed to do it, but I could do an info commercial for my lip balm. <laughs> Since we're sitting here. Since we're sitting here. The lovely wife, she's been very busy in the kitchen she has. And she's been running around, blooming, making all sorts of cool shit. She's made some lip balm and some body balm and some soaps and even got fucking crazy lately making some candlestick holders for the candles that she's making, which is kind of cool, but buy one just to keep her happy. That would be good. <laughs> That'd be bloody funny, actually. That'd stir her right up. Uh, oh, I just happened to have some lip balm in my pocket if you'd like to see it. Look at this shit. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, see, that was the one I prepared earlier. She's even got a cool little sticker on it. Oh, I'll tell you what. It's a little bit firm, but the thing I like about it is when you rub it on your lips, not that I'm a real lip balm user upper a person, but it makes your lips feel nice. My poor daughter, who's into fashion, <laughs> does an amazing job and tries to cut my hair and watches this show. And, um, of course, my hair doesn't actually get cut for a while and it just gets more and more annoying for her. And so she eventually weakens and says, Oh, my God. I better cut his hair so he doesn't look quite so ridiculous. And I look cool again for a little while. Well, my hair looks cool. I'm not sure about the bloke under the hair. He's just he's just having a crack at doing his thing. Anyway, I'm rambling. Rambling, rambling, rambling. That's a song, isn't it? Was that a song? The Rambling Man? Rambling? No. Rambling something. There's something about rambling. Or is it gambling? I like that song about the gambling song. What was that song about gambling? 